What's up guys, Rob here at Float World, and today we are going to talk about WTF rails. Regular WTFs and the new steep and deeps. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself, well, what's the difference? Which one is right for me? What should I choose? Well, let's check it out. So here, this lovely OG blue color, this is the steep and deep really nice so we'll put this right here and then these are the black regular WTF rails and let's just see here look at that so it looks like the steep and deeps you can tell but it has just about maybe a quarter inch lip you know the uh, the angle is just a quarter inch higher than the regular WTF rails so I guess if you're wanting to do trails chunky trails or maybe you're in a racing league this and that the steep and deeps are going to probably be your best bet now another cool feature that they have added is back here look at this see these little fins they got going on here on each side so what that's designed to do is to keep the airflow and help cool down your motor temp. That's pretty rad. Another feature, they've got these little uh, threaded ports here. And what those are for is if you want to run a cover plate over here to keep it clean, you can do that. Or if you have lights, you can now attach your lights to your rails or if you're a YouTuber, you can put on your GoPro to it. That's pretty nice. That is the OG blue. And then we move on to the WTF rails. Which I believe, in my opinion, I have these on my board. Which I will show you here in a minute. These are more for street. Yeah, you can do some trails on them, you know, as long as they're not too aggressive or whatever you see, you know, in the racing league. But for street, these are my favorite. I absolutely love the way they handle, the, the way they perform. They are much faster than stock. It doesn't feel as boxy. It feels, in my opinion, it feels more like an XR, the way you're able to, uh, to maneuver better with them. And come with the, uh, the little accessory holes here too with them. Along with the little fins here to help cool down your motor temp. Pretty nice. We've got these, the steep and deeps in these nice OG blue. Uh, black and red. We've got them in red. Now for the WTF rails, the, the regular ones, we have them in red, black, Clear aluminum, and uh, you can pick all these up right now at onewheelfloat.com. We will get them shipped out immediately. There's no wait time. We'll just get them shipped out. Very easy to install as well. If I would have to say, out of a ten, what would you say? I say if you've taken apart your board a few times and you know the ins and outs, you're looking about a four pretty damn good if you've never taken apart your board you don't know anything about one wheels you know maybe you just got a one wheel but you want these you don't know how to install them there it probably be about a six there is a bunch of videos on there from float life that you can go check out and uh, they'll show you how to put these rails on pretty simple I'll show you what I have on my board and get these out of the way. You don't want to damage those. Okay. Oh, so this is my baby. I have the gold WTFs on mine. And they are numbered. They're number... Where is it? Right, yeah. Number 13 of 69. I got a good number. Lucky 13. But on the street... I absolutely love them very very much there's night and day difference between these and the stock rails uh, I love them but I am going to switch out my gold rails 
and I am going to go with the OG blue rails, the standard, not the steep and deeps. So I'm going with the blue, and then uh, waiting on my Nimrods to come in, help protect the, the hub. Uh, we've got the Shore Start Pro on it, I mean, flight fins. It is amazing. Motor cover really brings it out. Colored lifesavers, we offer those as well. And even if you uh, look at mine, see they used to be a nice kind of dark blue, kind of like that back here. But, you know, over time they do fade. And you can take these off and re-dye them. Yes. Don't go spending money and be like, oh, I got to buy a new, new set of uh, lifesavers every time they fade. No. You can re-dye these. Takes about one minute each side flip. Just, yeah, do them. And you can save yourself a lot of money by doing it. Also got these um, barren protectors in there. Help keep all that dirt and debris out of that. A must. Titanium hub bolts. And the bottom's just stuck. Got a float plate on there. Bumper's a little tore up, but yeah, adds adds character to the uh, to the board. And also, we have the Enduros in stock for the XR, the Pine Pinex, the GT. Definitely got them for the GT. So pick those up right now. OneWheelFloat.com. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much our first official video that we have made and uh, we hope to get you to like and subscribe to us we're just a local shop here in Lubbock Texas just trying to get people stoked into one wheel help them keep the, the passion going I know a lot of boards break and people are like ah, I don't want to just move on to something else and we don't like that we want to keep you stoked into this fucking amazing hobby yeah it costs money but Every hobby costs money. It's just some things cost a little cheaper. Or you go buy a race car and blow those motors. See how much that costs. But yeah. I really appreciate the support guys. Like I said go to onewheelfloat.com Look us up on Instagram. The Float World. Uh, we got a Facebook community page. One Wheel 806. And we would love to have you. Love to love to see your boards and your creations. That's what it's all about. Not here to not here to make millions of dollars. I'm here to keep you stoked in this because this is just a great hobby. And there's just nothing else. It is so much fun. So everybody have a great day. It's uh, almost you know going to be July 4th. I hope everybody has a good July 4th Tuesday. Or maybe you got the weekend off. That's great. But, uh, yeah. Y'all have a great day. and.